Hi guys, welcome to another five minute game. I'm playing an I am here by the name of Sirlock. I don't know who it is, but that looks like the Greek flag to me. Oh, we have a um Schwenningen defense. You don't see this too often these days. But I kinda just play it like I play against the um what's it called? Nidorf. Oh man, I can't remember what to do a queen takes probably. I don't think it matters actually much. Mm, I think g5 and h4 is, is somehow. I think I think my bishop's usually on on d4 here, so I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm gonna move my queen away so I can try to attack this guy. Let's go h5. Someday I'll move my bishop out. I just don't know where to yet. If f4, knight g4, or no. I'll just do this, whatever. Nice and aggressive. My pawns are coming at him. Ooh, we didn't think about that move for some reason. Uh, the problem is now I can't go to e2. Right, I'm going to go to c4. I wanted to go to e2, but then blocks my bishop, and he would have knight to c4. But, you know, it's not so bad on a4. Uh, I can go b3 when necessary. Like, okay, he's attacking... Hmm... Back on my e pawn, I guess I'm just gonna do a queen trade type thing. I have a lot of space in this position, so I think usually these end games are okay for white. When I, when I say okay, I mean like maybe slightly better. And I'll take with the pawn if he trades queens. Okay, he doesn't, so I'll do this. And then I'll go bishop b7, and I have to figure out what to do now. Uh, I can go rook e1, and I have some bishop a7 type move, but let me just think for a second. Hold on, folks. Hold on. It's a five-minute game. I can think a little bit. Probably rookie one. Actually, it's... Let's see. Rookie one, queen takes. Um, queen takes, bishop takes, bishop a7. He has rook b7. He also has bishop f3. Both look pretty good to me. Bishop of three, rook d three. Oh, then, hmm, then rook e seven. Ugh, it's kind of annoying actually. The whole position. Knight b six, maybe. No. Uh, maybe. No, it's no good. Bishop ace. All right, I give up. I don't know what else to do, guys. Oh boy, All right, I'm gonna take. I know, I know it's bad for me, but I don't know what else to do. So, question is, how bad is this? You know, I, I definitely messed something up. Well, at least now I'm not gonna be down like material. I can, I can take this and take on b4. Uh, he could have won bishop f3, I think. That's what I was really worried about. This is still like a little unpleasant, but after d5, rook to b6 and. He has nice pawn center, nice bishops. My pawns are overextended. I have all kinds of problems still, but it seems like a little better than than the other line. We'll see what I can do. If I can ever go c4 and or f5 someday, maybe. He wants to go bishop c6 probably. So, but I have f5 after bishop c6. All right. Um, I guess f5. But let me think. Yeah, whatever. Got to save some time for later, so I'll just make the move. Mmm. Yeah, it seems like he played this strangely. Well, this is weird. Like, if he goes g6, rook d7, like, his pieces are starting to get funny. Like, at rook d7, right, he's about to make a queen, though. I have to be a little careful. Like, if rook d7, f3, rook d3, f2, rook f3, bishop g3. It's like a little shady. Um, a little shaky for me. I guess rook f5. And then he brings his rook in. Maybe some knight move, like knight c3. I don't know which which one's better. I'll do this one. Attack the stupid pawn. 
Uh, and because of F3, we're at F5, right? right? I'll just do it. I don't know what the hell that was. Why he put a square on a his pawn on a square where it can't be defended? Nobody knows. So probably you should try to activate his rook now to make up for that that mistake. Um, I think like rook e8, rook takes pawn, rook e1. All right, this move makes sense too. He wants to go after my g6, my g pawn. Maybe knight e4. And f I don't know. I have, a, I have a good feeling about this move. Maybe it's no good, who knows. If rook e8, rook c8 was my, my idea. If rook e7, well now he's not he's not attacking my g-pawn anymore, so maybe just rook c4. Uh, I was going to go rook c8. Maybe maybe knight d6, though. It's hard to say. No, no, the rook c8 looks better. But then he does have, he does have the uh, rook d7 move. I know I'm being slow, guys. Forgive me on this one. I don't know what to do. I gotta move knight d6. I'm gonna play this move. I I don't know. Something about it feels wrong. Also, I spent all my time like a jerk off. I forgot. You know, I haven't played in a bit. That's what happens when I haven't played for a little. I, I get slow for the first few games. I've been away for a week. Uh, I forget about the, the importance of the clock. I'm, trying to, I'm sitting here trying to make good chess moves, which is, you know, always a risky thing to do. Uh, you know, I walk into a pin like a jackass. All right, I'm just going to take this before it's too late. And I hopefully have some tricks so that I don't lose the game. Um, you can't really attack my knight so easily. Do I have any really good tricks anywhere? Let's see. Um... I'll do check, whatever. Hmm, I'll take it. I mean, here's the thing, like... I know I could win AF7. His pawns are fast, and he has the bishop. So, I'm going to keep my H pawn. I'm just going to try to push the C pawn as fast as I can, and hopefully make something happen. Hmm... Sorry, I'm thinking again like a jerk. Uh, Alright, I take it, whatever. Problem is when I take his, his pieces come into the action quick quickly. Oh god, I have 36 seconds, really? Really graphed it. Uh, alright. <laughs> move! Move, stupid knight. Well, I'm gonna try to get my pawns going. Don't really know what else to do. Hmm. Somehow it seems okay. That was a horrible move, of course. <laughs> Everything was horrible about it. But you know, I have no time. This is what's happening. Uh, I have no time because I'm rusty, and therefore my last few moves were pretty bad because I just had no time to think of good moves. King of seven, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, really. That's very suspicious. Maybe he can sack his bishop, but obviously risky, risky strategy in his part. The problem is I have 23 seconds, so I'm just going to lose, most likely, unless he blunders his rook. Ah, I'll do this. Slightly annoying. Mm, yeah, he can, he can probably, I could probably take this. Maybe he'll maybe even blunder. Almost blundered. Ooh, I'm defending. It's probably a draw now, but I have no time, so I'm gonna lose. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I already blundered. Uh, this is actually maybe a draw. No, it's losing. You can just take him before. I gotta figure out some way to try to trick him. Maybe he won't find it. Alright, 
now I can draw easily. Oh, so strong. He should have won G2. Oh, <laughs> stupidest game ever. Uh, you know, I did some really dumb things with the time management. And, you know, he spent way too long to find that move that that was winning. And so he was kind of low on time. <laughs> and I was able to draw because of that. I'll re real quickly go over what I'm talking about here. I Rumo Sama, don't resign ever, retarded donk. Alright, anyway, uh, what happened was this wins because even if I take this, my knight is trapped. And his bishop holds on to the pawn. So I knew I had to like not take that pawn because then the win's so easy. I had to keep my knight around so I could check him a little bit. The problem he just spent too much time figuring this stuff out. It was not I was lucky, you know. Like he probably should have been able to find it faster, but in the heat of the moment, he couldn't, and therefore I got a lucky draw. Whoopee. Uh, I just want to check one other thing on this game. It's like somewhere around here. I felt like I was doing well, but it says I should just have attacked him with, let's say, h6. Knight b6, I don't even understand. So he just sacrificed the pawn and put his king in the middle of the board. Well, that's not a normal move. Alright. Instead, I did this, and again, h6 it liked. b3. h6 is a weird ass move. <laughs> Somehow it's really strong. I guess the idea is if he takes, I, I take and I'm winning, huh? Interesting. How about that? Well, I didn't really figure that out. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, after Bishop B7, I was just in trouble here. I thought like Bishop F3 was even better, but Houdini disagrees. Oh, it says D5 first, intermediate move. Oh, how about that? Yeah, because I felt like after this I was doing fine. But. Anyway, thanks all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.